all right have, hello everyone welcome back okay now before we go on to importing this um i'm gonna explain to you um how to format this right okay but there are a few things we need to do and the next thing we need to do is to talk about the resulting settings okay the resulting settings is important because it tells us how we are splitting the marks across the terms okay and also how we're splitting the marks you know across assessment and then exams as well so we're going to come to resulting settings and since we're focused on ss1 i'm just going to do this for ss1 just now okay now we have the advanced settings advanced settings is when you want to make this different for the you know the individual arms if you notice that your individual arms within a class is having you know different resulting settings you might click the advanced it's going to show you an option to do that for the ss1a and all the arms basically you're going to do that individually but in this case it works out just fine for the entire class now cumulative result setting talks about um if you do cumulative resulting basically that's you know that's what you know it means if you do cumulative results um let's say maybe at the end of a third term or at the end of a second term um none means that no there is no cumulative result so the first term result has no impact on the second or third term that's basically what this means now third term cumulative means that you do cumulative only on the third term so the first term and the second term they have a part to play in the final third term you know grade all term means that you do cumulative for all the time so second term first term has to play in the third term first term and second term both have to play you know they they, they have you know um impact on the final result that's basically what this means um for this i'm probably going to choose third term cumulative i could choose none but I'm just going to choose third term cumulative so that I can explain the field to you. All right. Um, this is subject positioning. So this talks about if, you know, at the end of the, 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 the term, if your school does, you know, subject positions. So the, the person that, you know, had the highest score in, let's say, mathematics, you know, do you want to, like, show that in the result sheet? You know, if you want to show that in the results sheet that this is the person that came first in the subject, you know, you can do that either by class or by arm or by class category. We've talked about categories, you know, so you can say for categories, you could say you want, you know, the first, the person that came first in the whole of science, you know, in the whole of arts, in the whole of, you know, social science as the case may be. And none means that, okay, you don't want to show result positioning at all in the results. Okay, you do not want to do that. Same thing with the results um, positioning. This is like for the general results, overall performance. Do you want to like show the position who came first overall, you know, by class, by arm, or none? One thing you need to know is that the subject position and the result position, they either have to be the same or one of them have to be null. So what am I trying to talk about? So if I select this as by class, result positioning must either be by class or must be none. Okay, I can select by class and then put this by arm. It's it's not going to work. Okay, um, the system is not going to allow you to proceed. Now, there are other ways which you can use to get all the information which you need if you want to you know you're interested in positioning by class or by arm you can also get those information using um uh customized templating um result reports okay we're gonna come to that later on but for now if you want to make the setting this is exactly the way it, it, it will be in this case i'm going to say i'm interested in position by arm okay now this is what is the continuous assessment value for this term this is a first term result setting and i'm going to say 30 and the exam value is 70. you can choose whatever you know values you want the, the sum must not be up to 100. okay it can be anything you want basically okay um but 
in my own case I'm making it a hundred all right I'll choose the same thing for the second term as well and then I'm going to say this is 30 this is 70 and the same thing for the third term as well um, you can change these for the different terms okay if you want to do third term you want to do it by you know by class you could end up doing that in fact i think i might have to do that by class for third term i'm thinking so i don't know maybe all right now this since we selected um third term cumulative it means that we need to provide what the value of the first term is going to be the value more like the weight what's the weight of the first term in the final you know result now if you select cumulative you need to know that the positionings okay the positionings and the third term especially okay since this is third term cumulative the positioning in the third term is going to use the cumulative value not the term value okay the position on the third term is going to use the cumulative value not you know not the terms value i don't know if you understand what i mean so um it's going to be what this cumulative results in what's the the student's cumulative value and then all students are ranked based on that cumulative value since we specify you know as cumulative so um i'm going to say all three terms they all have equal weight so i'm going to give the three of them a hundred and then the final value is going to come down to a hundred okay now you can give more than a hundred you know on this so you can also give zero okay so whatever it is you're giving you know it, it has to be between one and a hundred okay you can you know give any value it just, just talks about the weight okay but the final value is what the weight is going to come up to so what this means in essence is that we take the first term we take the second term i'll take it up down we just divide them by three that's basically what this means okay because we're saying the first term value has the same weight as the second term value it has the same weight as the third term value your school could say okay first and second term they have you know 20 this one has um 20 and then this one has 60. so you can say okay third term has more weight you know than the first term you could do it like this you know but you could do it anyhow you want but in this case i'm just going to say um yeah they all have equal values um yeah equal weights so i'm going to save the setting and now that is it for um resulting setting um the next tutorial we'll be talking about grading you know we're just trying to set the grounding for you know our results in session and result generation all right thank you so much for watching this and see you in the next